Okay, so now I need to get an accurate measurement be between these two points, um, between these two posts on these inside faces of these housings. And as you know, it's pretty tough to take a tape measure and measure an inside to inside face like that, especially at about 16 feet, and by yourself. And since I'm mainly doing this project on my own, you kind of have to come up with little tricks to kind of get stuff done sometimes. And on an inside to inside face measurement, a little trick is to take two sticks and stick them between the faces, push them tight so they're tight against each face. And then just take your pencil, if you can find it, and make a mark on the sticks. And then take your sticks over to, in this case, this 5x6, lay them out on there, line up this mark, and mark the distance. And it's pretty accurate. Well, we got it in and looks like it's pretty level. In case you guys are wondering why I am putting this in after the fact and why I didn't um, put it in this bent when I set this bent up, I wasn't really sure exactly if I was going to have a man door on this back side of the barn. And um, so I just left it out because I wasn't sure how. The back wall was going to look and so now what I'm kind of thinking is is that the forge is going to go back here and probably that wood stove as well um, so I can keep that towards the back of the barn and then the front of the barn will be easier to access with uh, you know my tractor and whatever else I want to put in here so 
I don't think I'm going to put a man door back here. I still might. I still haven't decided yet. I'm going back and forth. Uh, the, the barn doors aren't going to be that big, so I could probably just, you know, use the barn doors for the entrance. But that being said, if I do still decide to put a man door in here, then I can simply just frame it in and just cut this out um, where I need to. And that's probably easier to do it that way, actually, because right now it's in where exactly each side would need to be and their level. So as long as as long as I frame it in according to what's already here, then it'll be good. So, but I don't think I'm going to, and that's kind of why I left it out, and that's why we had to put it in after the fact. Simple one-inch housing, slipped it in there, um, kind of used a few tricks to aid me because I'm working by myself. Um, but yeah, went pretty good. Um, we cut the housings on the front side of the barn as well. Those are just four by fours. That's all they need to be. Um, this is bigger because it spans such a long distance of 16 feet. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate you guys watching as always. Um, you know, it's a beautiful winter day here today. But uh, the reprieve is ending tomorrow. Cold has set in for sure. And I had a kind of a long, rough week. My well froze at the pitless. It's a long story. Um, it's kind of an anomaly. We're not sure exactly what happened, but we had to deal with that all week. So I'm just glad I found a little time to work on the bar. So we'll see you guys next time.